Now then, off-grid fans. So, today, I've got a new toy. And uh, you might like it too. So, what I've done is I've bought a Serbo GX. And for those of you who don't know, it's a Victron product that helps you monitor and log all of your data from your off-grid system. Now, in the summer... Uh, Andy from Andy's Garage down there in Australia. Uh, I'd been following him for a bit and uh, he got, he went from sort of old panels on his system, I think he had like six or seven kilowatts, um, to 14 kilowatts of new panels and because he's got a Serbo, well he's got a Serbo GX, he's got a Raspberry Pi that's set up as a Serbo GX but it fires all the information to uh, the Victron VRM, uh, probably don't know what it stands for. Probably should check maybe Victron Resource Monitor or something. Um, but anyway, it fires all the information there and stores it. And uh, following his upgrade, I got quite invested in in whether it worked. And then you could log in and follow his solar. Uh, and uh, I've now done the same for mine. So not only can I, because I. I like geeking out on the solar uh, uh, information and you, you've seen my videos where I've downloaded the logs from EP ever and graphed them up in a uh, in a spreadsheet and, and waffled on about them. Uh, but now Victron can do all of that for me. So we're only on a temporary install so far, but I'll show you what's going on. So it's this little blue box here and... Uh, that's connected in to my uh, inverter uh, and, uh, and to the, uh, the BMV. Uh, but what happened when I plugged that in this morning to the BMV is it reset the BMV to 100% state of charge. And it wasn't, it was only about 90 or something. Um, so I'm just doing a charge now and I thought I'd do a top balance or a top balance check and uh, yeah Andy you love balancing Andy you love balancing too much it's not needed I've not balanced this pack for uh, for a while in fact it did get balanced I think at the start of November I checked it but then I lower my bulk and absorption settings to a point where they don't they don't hit the balancing anyway don't know any balancing and then occasionally i raise those voltages up and then and then i can see on a set day i can see if there's been any imbalance issue and that'll tell me if there's something going wrong with one of the 24 cells if there's a an imbalance appears rather than it just dealing with it on a day by day basis because i also don't you know <laughs> i've just been discharging for a week and then putting 50 percent back in <laughs> on the on the generator and and doing that so i don't go back to full charge every day but this controlled manner of top balancing means I get uh, get a nice health check uh, every time I actually change the voltages and watch it. So, Serbo is is on. I'll uh, put some stuff here, uh, and um, yeah, we are just seeing seeing how out of balance and i'll give you a spoiler uh we're not not so out of balance so that's where we are at the moment three points uh for something volts per second so the servo comes with this little screen reflecting my flashing leds at the moment sorry about that uh and as you can see basically with the What's on DC power is a standalone charger. That's what I'm using to actually get to the very top. Uh, I've left the uh, the inverter charger at quite a low bulk setting. So that's in absorption. And as you can see, it's basically just supplying the AC loads and the actual 380 watts into the 
battery is being done by my 30 amp charger so I know it's saying 100 percent but I'll say I think we're we're still maybe five or ten percent and that's why I'm going um, uh, that's why I'm sorting it now to actually get it to 100 percent and then I can sync the uh, the the state of charge meter uh, because that was out of sync once I'd plugged plugged it into this uh, servo as I say so 24 hours later uh, <laughs> I didn't manage to get to it balancing ASC it just kept absorbing uh, I think I turned the big charger off too quick so here we are I'll do some screen recording but look 3.37 and voltage difference 0.005 well, this is day three on the top balance and uh, I've started a bit earlier, so maybe I'll be able to finish it. So as you can see, I've waited till we're above where we were before. So we're now at 3.4, very small voltage difference. And uh, yeah, so number two is the lowest and it usually is. This is my view, Christmas Eve. Wrapping presents, watching voltages. So turn on the recorder, we're coming up to the first cell to hit 3.5 volts. There it goes, voltage difference 0.04. I'm absolutely happy with that. And there it started balancing. So cell one has just hit 3.5 as well. Uh, it's, just, it's just started to drop. You can see it's dropping rapidly there on the current. Now it's hit the 14.2 volts. Cell three you can see isn't at, uh, I think it was at 3.63, so that's dropped a little bit. But cell two won't get to 3.5. Yeah, it just keeps absorbing. And then we can see the charge just an absorption, but in the odd little bit of current that then goes to zero. And there we go, half an hour after it started bouncing ish. I can double check, but look, 7.31. And uh, well, it had got up to 3.5, even 3.5 or 1. Give it a second. 499, 497, <laughs> well it was, it had got up to 3.5, I promise you it had. And there we are, 3.5, and there it's below 0.1. So, I'll say another few hours at that, and that that will do was my winter balance. We're now down to 0 0.085, as I say, sort of 0 0.04, 0 0.05. I call that balanced at this voltage. Now it would be a bit more if I went to 3.65, but I don't like holding me. Well, you find that then it cuts off and whatever. I find that this voltage, 14.2, for balancing and holding at 14.2, just works. I just need to do that twice a year. Well, I thought I'd raise the voltage a little, so we're up to 14.24. So basically then every cell should go up by 0.01. And there you can basically see that's what's happened. Tell you what, let's go up another 0.01 per cell. Now uh, keeping below 3.6, which I like. And uh, yeah, so that's after one hour. So I'll uh, maybe come back at nine o'clock after it's had an hour on that and we'll see. So at that, even though we've gone up in voltage, the voltage difference will have gone up. Uh, we're still below 0.1. So excuse the rain if you can hear the rain on the roof but it's, it's just started chucking it down 
Uh, I've cranked the voltage up slowly in 0.04 increments until it got to 14.4. Uh, and as you can see, if you remember, cell three was the first to to be uh, well, first to get 3.4, the first to get to uh, 3.6 was the highest before. But now, bear in mind that the BMS will cut off at 3.65, so I really have pushed the voltage here for the maximum uh, balancing. But cell one is now the highest voltage out on the 0 0.1, 0 0.099, 0 0.096, look we're just about that 0 0.1 uh, in balance at absolute, I mean every cell is above 3.54, so we've now got the voltage right up, 1 and 3 are both at like 3.64, 4 is just at 3.6, and it's two still it's number two that's lagging behind even at 14.44 or as the bms is saying 14.43 and the voltage is still less than 0.1 it's 0.085 oh, i just can't resist just edging that voltage up and up we're getting a good balance here it is actually really good even at this high voltage look we're at um 0.077 at 14.47 volts um, as I say yeah, I, I only go to this sort of voltage specifically on days like this to check the balance of the pack I do it like this my reckoning is if any of the 24 cells had a problem then this is when I'd notice it when this this uh, how it balances with two always lagging behind and three being the the first one um so now uh 25 past 10 so less than three and a half hours of balancing and you can see a bit ago i got up to 14.49 and when i first went to 14.49 then the usual cell three was at uh, basically the maximum, just sort of three point six uh, four eight ish. Uh, but it's been balancing; it's come down. Okay, I've worked it out. If you notice here, charge is off. So cell three, I'm guessing went so there we are uh, at 2146 uh, then it went to 3.65 so now it's going to get to the recovery voltage there we are over voltage release 3.55 so okay i tricked it look charge is back on 15 amps and let's see where we're at so this is why I normally like to balance it for a long time at a lower voltage. But I was just impatient. Because that 62. Now we've got three cells at 3.6 and just two just hanging on at 3.58. 0.066. We've only been bouncing, what time are we on now? 10.40. So, uh, and he started bouncing just after seven, we'll call it seven. Uh, so three hours, 40 minutes, and uh, we'll do a little bit, a little bit more.